this is equality of said uh, under said in mathematics right and then this is a pure past question that we have been asked to find if square root of what uh, 3x plus 1 minus square root of x plus 4 is equal to 1 then they want us to find the value of what? x what under this thing they say we should find x so let's dive into the solution and check how you can deal with this type of problem you see every problem in this way it has a tool that make the work very very easy so that is one thing you have to look for anytime you have you come across any questions in mathematics so which tool will be what very easy and 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 uh, uh, applicable for us to use under this type of problem over here so one thing you have to notice is that let's assume you are having x plus one is equal to two they say you should find x from this one right this is just a, a, a linear equation they are asking you to find what x from this you just move you subtract one from both sides of the equation or you move this guy to the other side that gives what s is equal to what two minus one and x is equal to one one very very easy right this is one tool that this is how you solve what a linear equation but what about this what about this one so we are having a radical what i mean by the radical is that the square root sign are on both this guy and then they equate it to one they ask us to find the value of x that make this equation valid what so let's dive into the mathematical solutions and see what is happening is that okay so one thing you have to pay attention to that which tool will help you to solve this type of problem right that's one thing you have at the back of your mind so with that let me remind you that the aim of this type of equation is to arrive at what quadratic equation is that okay quadratic quadratic equation right so if you don't know how to solve a quadratic equation that's one thing for you so the two that we need to use we don't know anything about this right we cannot solve this thing straightforward in my opinion so what i have to do is that you bring it down to something that you can easily solve which is what a quadratic right quadratic what equation right if you don't know this guy what it looks like you have to pay attention to that right and how do you solve it is that okay so you want to manage this guy to arrive at this point whereby we can say that we really we can what solve that type of what equation is that okay and how do you do that so let's work through the solutions and check that now we are having this this is what i've been given to us so what i have to do is that you move the second guy to the right hand side is that okay the aim is that we are arriving at a quadratic whereby we can solve it very very well, easily right so we move the first guy which is the what minus what root of what x plus 4 to the right hand side right when this guy crosses the equal sign or then it becomes a positive or you subtract both sides by what minus square root of what x plus 4. so when i send this guy to the other side you can see that the left hand side is left to what square root of 3x plus 1 which is equal to 1 there one is already there and then this guy tends to be what a positive you can see it was a manual here. the moment you cross the wall over here consider your sign has to change because you are a criminal right okay so the guy tends to be what, a positive over here. i have a positive square root of what x plus 4 over here and what is happening look at where x is hiding right x is hiding under this radical so we need to uncover this guy so that you can be open is that okay how do you take this guy out how do you take you out of that room right the room here is that the square root sign how do you take you out by squaring it is that okay so squaring both sides of the equation and then you square this one then you square everything here right so when i square this is how i square so i square this one then i square everything over here can you see so perfectly the aim of squaring is that we want this these things to go away so that we can easily find x is that okay so when you square you can see that the square here cancel the square root right the square here cancel the square root over here so i get 3s plus 1 and then check it we are having two different terms over here. we are having two different guys that is one the square root of x plus 4 how do you square you may decide to split this one into two and square it perfectly nobody cares about that but the trick i use here is that you need to square the first one first is that okay so when i take a square root of sorry square of one that gives me what one and then you pick the two multiply by here that will give me what two root of x what plus one times whatever is here is that okay so pay attention again i square the first one that gives me one so two times this times this will give me the second one 
is that okay so this one square will give him what one and then two times this one will give him what? two root x plus four times one will give him two root x that's what i'm having here is that okay then when you are down you square the last step so when i square this one i'll have what x plus four just like this one right just like this the square root will go away if you find this thing difficult don't worry just split this one into two multiply them one by one nicely okay perfect then i i, I had what 3x plus 1 is this goes what 1 plus what 2 root of what x plus 4 and then plus what x plus 4 is that okay now let's move on. you just need to group your light terms right you group the same everything on the one side is that okay so when i brought this guy this guy i can see that they have a friends over here can you see x has a friend to be what 3x and then 4 also has a friend to be what 1 on the left hand side and the one here are the same thing so i'll send everything to what to the left hand side so i brought the x over here that's the s i'm having here once you are crossing this this wall over here then you are a criminal your sign has to change is that okay so i brought this x here that tends to be what uh minus x over here and then let, let, let's draw the, the 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 you already have one here so there's a one here so let's maintain that one and then there's one on the right hand side of uh, the equation there's one here so this one also comes this way because that that thing has to change another sign over here can you see that okay what about a four there's a four here so let's four also go so i brought a four here the four also change what each sign over here so this guy has no friend can you see that two root of what x plus four it has no friend on the word the left hand side so we leave it over there right so just do your addition what and the subtraction then you arrive at what 2x or minus 4 is that okay is equal to what? 2 root of x or plus 4 right still we are looking for what that x that will make our question what valid is that okay there's x here there's x here we cannot combine the two of them because this guy and this guy they, they, they are not the same right they are not friends so what do you do you need to take this x out of this room can you see that by reversing what the process is that okay you want to take this x out of uh, this room over here so how do you do it you squared you squared everything here is that okay the square is that the square will help us take this guy out we are going to uncover this this square with sign so when you square here you square everything on the what on the left hand side as well and that before that you can see you can see that it will be very easy for us to divide everything by two right because i can see two here i can see two in four there's a two also here is that okay so i divide everything by two that will make my work very easy if they cannot divide just leave it and move on with your, your calculation now i divide everything here by two then i had what x minus what two here and then here also two goes away so we are left with what root of x what plus four right very very simple then here from now from now from now i can what take a square 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 of what this guy to uncover the x over here can you see that because s is what hidden on a certain room so we want to take that room out is that okay we just need to square it so whatever you do at the right hand side you have to do the same thing on the what the left hand side as well so when i square both sides if you square this one then i will square this one as well when i square this one with the same approach i have x squared then this time this time this one will give us what minus what 4s and then i square the second the, the second term over here which is what a positive 4 of course negative 2 square giving what positive 4 you can see that so when i square when i square the right hand side you can see that here this this square will cancel this one is that okay this square will cancel the square root here that's the main reason why we are squaring because we want to see this guy open right okay so i go to here to be what, x plus 4 so you group you have to rearrange right you have to rearrange and group them what nicely so when you group them and rearrange you you, you arrive at something like x squared what, minus 4s minus x plus 4 minus 4 is that okay i'm sending this guy to what to the left hand side right the reason is that you want to see a quadratic whereby we can easily solve it is that okay so after grouping and do your calculation and addition very well you arrive at what x squared plus 5x is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation whereby the third term is what zero can you see that that is the main reason why we are suffering like that we want to arrive at what quadratic term that is what we know how to solve is that okay so we don't know the beginning of what this type of question why you know how to solve a quadratic so we need to do something that will help us well, to solve that problem so we arrive at this type of quadratic when you solve the quadratic nicely 
you get that x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 5. Is that okay? If you don't know how to solve the quadratic, just comment below. We are ready to help you wherever you are. So when you solve this, you have your x to be 0 and then x to be 1. 5. We are not done. We are not done because we are not done. We are having two different values of what? x over here. So all I have to do is that you pick one of them and check which one satisfy the condition. Is that okay? That is why I have a check over here. Is that okay? You check s is equal to 0 and s is equal to 5 and check which one satisfy the condition. So you can see that from here, check, check and comment below whether 0 or what? 5 satisfy the condition. Thanks for watching.